Good evening. On behalf of Ms. Newman, our faculty and staff, I'd like to welcome you to the 2015-2016 school year. Last Thursday marked the 98th year that St. Agnes Cathedral School opened its doors. We were happy to welcome 730 students, including 73 kindergarten children who represent the class of 2024. In addition to 30 new students in grades one through eight, we also welcome two new teachers, Yulisa Yanoa, grade six math and literature, and Leah Brown, grade seven ELA in literature. Both these young women are graduates of St. Joseph College in Patchogue and are certified in their respective areas of concentration. The summer months afforded us the time to spruce up the facility. New steps were built in front of the north wing. Pavers were placed in the walks leading to the north and south wings. All the wood floors in the main building were refurbished. Portions of the building were painted. Additional wireless access points were installed throughout the building to ensure efficient connectivity. One of our major goals for the 2015-2016 school year is the distribution and use of iPads for all of our grade six students. Each student will have the use of an iPad throughout the course of the school day and will be able to bring it home each evening. Professional development programs are planned for all teachers. This long-term project will be implemented for each subsequent sixth grade. We are grateful to the Mothers and Fathers Club for providing the funds for the purchase of the iPads and cases. As you can imagine, this is a significant investment. We will continue to work with the Common Core Standards and administer the New York State assessments. Opting out is a big time occurrence in the Rockville Center Public School District. While none of our fourth or sixth graders opted out physically, some did so mentally. On the sixth grade level especially, some of the students expressed that their parents told them that the tests were not important. They also noted that some of their friends in the public school were not taking the tests, so why should they? This attitude did not result in the most reliable scores. We believe these tests are important for a variety of reasons. They enable the faculty and staff to evaluate overall curriculum and instruction provide a tool for evaluating materials and programs, determine a benchmark for providing additional academic support in reading and math. However, unlike the public sector, we do not use the test results as part of our teacher evaluations. The past summer, the Diocesan Education Department introduced a new website. We are all learning the ins and outs of using it. The teachers are in the process of develop, developing their web pages. We will continue our Tuesday packets utilizing this site. We encourage you to review this each week for important announcements and upcoming events. The Parent Portal is a wonderful source of information regarding your child's academic progress. Grade 1 parents and new families will be receiving information this evening on how to access the site. I urge you to become involved in our school by actively participating in the Mothers and Fathers Club, the Home and the Home School Association, and the School Board. Our school would not be the vibrant community it is without these organizations. As a Catholic school, our main goal is to assist you as the primary educators in teaching your children the doctrines of our faith. It is important that you pray attend Mass and model and encourage service. In this way, the message they receive in school will be reinforced at home. In preparation for the Pope's visit this month, we are being challenged to pledge to walk with Francis and to pray, to serve, and to act. Information regarding this program will be placed on the school website and all are encouraged to participate. We have the privilege of having a Pope bless us with his presence. Let us be open to his message. 
please support and acknowledge the dedication and commitment of our wonderful teachers. They are here for your children and work very hard on a daily basis to challenge and help them. Finally, a thank you to Monsignor Koenig for his ongoing support and encouragement and to our parish priests for all the help they will give us throughout the course of the year. In closing, let us pray together our school theme of action. Heavenly Father, we gather this evening as members of the St. Agnes School community. Help us to be people of action, accepting Christ today in one another. If we are able to live these words, we will all experience a happy, successful school year. The format for the remainder of the evening consists of three 15-minute presentations. A bell will be rung at the conclusion of each session. Please take this opportunity to visit all our special teachers in their respective rooms. Thank you and have a great night.